In this lecture, we are going to learn about bitwise operator, or you can call them binary operators because they work on binary numbers, not your regular number in JavaScript, uh, because your, your regular number is made of a bunch of bits. Uh, before we get started, I just want to give a quick shout out to our sponsor today. It's eudonics.com complete resource to learn full stack JavaScript development. This comprehensive program includes over 12 courses, 30 projects and hundreds uh, source code snippets. If you want to get uh, this course, uh, you can get 20% off uh, using the coupon code tech 20. Uh, this information will be also in the description. So you can check it out. Let's say let x equal to one and one is made of 64 bits. That means there will be, let's say, 63 zeros and then one. If I had to represent it like this. And if I have, let's say, let y equal to two, that means it's made of 62 zeros and then one zero. Or if I wanna do shorthand and ignore all the zeros so we can see things clearly, let's say zero, then this would be zero, 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 one would be zero, zero, one, two would be zero, one, zero, three would be zero, one, one, and then lastly, four would be one, zero, zero. Okay, so these are bits. So if I wanna operate on bits, I need bitwise operator. So the one of the first bitwise operator is AND operator. Those who went through computer science study, you probably know this in detail. So let's start with the AND operator, zero. And if I do AND, now AND is different from this AND, and which is a Boolean operator. So this will be a single end. And if I do zero and zero, if they are both zeros, then the answer would be zero. If I have zero and one, this would be zero as well. And if both are one, then only I would have one. So in order for n to be one, they both have to be one. So this is our end operator. Let's look at the fundamental first before we start coding. So this is an end operator. Now let's look at or operator. So or operator would be similar, except this would be a single pipe. This is not logical or, this is bitwise or. So that's why you would see a single pipe. Now here, uh, when you have both zeros, that means zero. But if either is one, that means the answer is one. So the difference between these two is uh, here I have a zero and here I have one, but the rest should be same. And then the third operator would be XOR operator, exclusive OR. Now here, the interesting thing is it's very different from the rest here, the only time you get one is when both X and Y's are different from each other. When they are equal, like zero, zero, then you get zero. When you have one, one, you still get zero. And when you have two different operators, then only you get one. And so this is called exclusive word. And there's some other operators as well. So now let's see how do we convert because we have numbers. So we need to convert numbers into binary to see what's going on. So in order to convert, there is a simple function. You all probably know this uh, two string function. So if I just simply do console log and let's say one, and I would say two string, usually people think that this is to convert to strings. But if you don't provide any arguments, Yes, it does convert to string. So if I run this, I would get one as a string. So I converted number to a string. However, if I provide base, which is binary has two base, and I run it again, I would still get one. That is because, remember, 
one is nothing but zero zero one so just only showing the last one okay so how about if I get two then I would see the real picture so if I do two then I should get 10 which is correct and if I do four then I should get hundred so let's try that so five four if I run this I would get hundred and let's pick some giant number and see what happens all right so I do get a much longer binary but again it's not going to show you all 64 bits it's just going to show you uh, the trim version of it now what if I want to do completely opposite uh, I want to take the binary number and convert it into the decimal so for example if I run this I get this large number and I want to convert this back to decimal so for that and there is a simple formula so I would say console dot log and then I would say parse int and then I would provide what is the base for this one which is 2 so now if I so now if I clear this and run this I would get 455 five. so it converts into binary to decimal however there is a better format for representing binary you don't wanna this is actually a string so there is a better format for it so if I do console log and I can write a proper binary format by adding 0 and B and then if I put this this means binary so by putting 0 B in front of it it knows that this is a binary format and now I can do use to string to string and then this time I'm just gonna put 10 base because 10 base is decimal and so I'm converting binary to decimal so now if I run this I would get 455 again because it's a true string it always gives you string compared to if you do parse int which always give you int and since we are here I can also show you that if I wanna convert something to hex I would simply I would simply put 16 here and this would convert into hex so if I run this it converts into hex which is 11 CB okay and similarly if I put 8 here it would convert into octal and which is 10713 okay so just a little lesson if I want to convert something to something uh, this is a great way of doing it uh, this could be an interview question uh, so I would this would definitely help you okay so now let me comment this out let's move forward our, our main objective is to learn the bitwise operator so now let's try the bitwise operator now that we understand how the binary works so let's do the first one console log if I do let's say 0 and 1 what would I get now let's look at what is 0 and what is 1 so here I have 0 and here I have 1 so if I do end which means this digit this bit and this bit because there is 0 and 1 uh, 0 1 should be 0 so this would give me 0 and then rest would give me 0 so I would get 0 so 0 and 1 should be 0 okay so which is correct if I do or single pipe let's look at it so here 0 1 which is in or it should give me 1 and then rest would give me 0 so it would be 1 so if I run this 0 or 1 is 1 but about exclusive or so exclusive or is written something like this so in exclusive or we already looked at if I have two different then only it gives you 1 like where we looked at here when you have 0 and 1 it gives me 1 otherwise it gives me 0 so in this case uh, when I do exclusive or of 0 and 1 
the last digit would get me one, but the first two digit would give me zero. So I would get one in the end. So if I run this, I would get one. Let's look at a different number so we can see things a little bit more clearly. Uh, so instead of zero and one, let's take one and three. So I'm gonna write it here, one, which is zero, zero, one, and three would be zero, one, one. Now if I do end, Here, because I have one one, that would give me one. Then the rest would be give me zero. So the answer is one. Zero, one, one should be one. Let's take or, which is pipe. Here, the last one should give me one. The second one should give me also one. So zero, one, one, so the answer should be three, which would be this. And exclusive or, which is this, Last one should give me zero because they both are same, so it should give me zero. The middle one, both are different, so it should give me one. And then the, the first one should, me, should give me zero. So it's zero, one, zero, which we already know is two. So this should give me two. So let's try it out now, one and three. So if I do end with one and three, I would get one. If I do pipe, which is or, then I would get three. And if I do exclusive or, I would get two. So this is how the bitwise operators work. All right, so there are two more operators that we haven't actually looked at. There's a shift left operator and shift right operator. Shift left operator works something like this. So if I have number nine, and if I say shift left by two position, so this would be a number and this would be a position. So I am moving to position this way. Now what is nine really means? So if I wanna know what nine is, let's convert that. We already know how to do that. So if I take this one and if I put nine here, it would give me the binary version of nine. So let's run this. And I would get one, zero, zero, one. So this would be one, zero, zero, one. Now what is shift left by two position really means? Which means I am going to add two more zeros behind it. Okay, so this would, would become one zero zero one zero zero. So if I convert this into binary form, which will be zero and B, and then I can use this console log. There should be 10 base. And now if I run this, I would get 36. So nine shift two should give me 36. So let's try this. And I'm gonna do this. So if I run it, I would get 36. So first one is 36, which is nine shift two positions and which would give me actually one zero zero one zero zero because it's shifting to position that way. There is also shift right, which means this, it's completely opposite. So how does that work? So imagine if you have nine, which is something like this. So if I wanna move to position this way, I would have to take last two down, which would give me 10. Right, and 10, we, as we already know, is two. So if I do nine, shift right two, it should give me two. Let's run this, and it gives me two. So now that we know the bitwise operators, you must be wondering, what is the application of this? Uh, this looks quite complex. Well, there are tons of application uh, of bitwise operator. 
And since we haven't actually learned a lot of JavaScript, this is an earlier phase, I don't want to introduce a lot of complex concepts in here. I can tell you what these applications would be. There are a lot of comparison operators. Uh, you can compare a lot of things uh, if you want to do, let's say, encryption. Uh, this is used in a lot of encryption algorithm. And you can also solve a lot of algorithm-based problem using uh, these operators. If your objective is to become very good at computer science, this is kind of required concepts uh, because everything works in zeros and ones. Uh, you need to understand how bitwise operators work. And I hope you learned something new from this video. And if you did, please like, subscribe, and provide a nice comment. Don't forget the comment. <laughs> And you can follow me on Facebook. I have multiple groups as well. Uh, you can uh, purchase my Udemy course. I have two courses, one on React Hooks and one on JavaScript. You can follow my blogs and also translate this video for me. The information will be in the description or you can become my uh, Patreon. And thank you.